All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Adon. Yeah. I'm my boy Conch, aka Christopher the Conch, aka C Jack over here. C- New name. It's a C Jack. C Jack. Uh. <laughs> we went through all these names, but yeah. we finally yeah. found one. It's gonna, it's gonna stick this time. Yeah. So, so thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your support. If you guys want more videos like this, please like and subscribe. We appreciate all the support. Now. We just came back. We look good on this TV, don't we? Yeah. At least I do anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was good, so. <laughs> so we just came back from seeing Power Rangers, guys. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> yes. One of my favorite, favorite shows ever as a kid. Yes. Not going, can't, can't, can't go, can't do any wrong with Power Rangers. So, I'm going to have to just say that the Power Ranger era is over with and done, guys. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's straight dead, Zed. Blasphemy! It's morphin' time! You want some of this? Come at me, bro! So, apparently, C-Jack liked it. Loved it. Uh... (laughs) Attacking us and shit. Hey, appar- apparently, it's fighting words. These yes. muscles are for show. <laughs> <laughs> I am a lover. I'm not a fighter. How's your head? Is it okay? Uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Took away my headache, actually. <laughs> all right, so they rebooted the whole franchise. So we got all the same new characters, Zach, Jason, Trini, Billy, you know. So that's what we're going with. We're going all the way back to the beginning. So... I'm gonna name a lot of the people are no names. So we're gonna name some people that you might be interested in seeing in the Power Rangers movie. So we got Brian Cranston. He's in it. Plays Zordon. So if you love you some uh, Heisenberg, Heisenberg, yeah, Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad, yeah, man. you're gonna be interested. Yeah. Uh, we got Elizabeth Banks. Banks. She plays Rita Repulsa. So you're gonna see her on screen a lot. Mm-hmm. And and Bill Hader. Bill Hader, you're a fan of his. He's in it. So go see it. Um, though there are a lot of no names as far as the Rangers, I will say they did a very, a very good job. So you still go see it because of that. Totally. They did a very good job. For, they weren't goofy. No. So I'm not saying that just because they were nobodies that they didn't do a good job. Um, so let's just jump into it. Uh, since this is, I'm going to just call it the second real movie. I know they have some other movies. Right. But we got the original movie right. back in the 90s. 98, somewhere in there. Right. Is this replacing that movie? Is it better than that movie, did you guys? You, you know, whether we like it or not, it is replacing it because they're pretty much rebooting the franchise. It's a, yeah, it's a it, complete reestablishment of the full franchise. Of the entire so story. So when you say it's replacing, power. are you going to take the original movie off the shelf? Yeah. And pop this one in it? Absolutely not. You know, that's, <laughs> that's like ripping my heart out of myself and like replacing it. Okay. So, you said it's replacing. I mean, so. come on. You can't get rid of I even who. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, no, absolutely not. Uh, as far as that goes, no. You know, you can't take away my nostalgia, but you can buy it for a price and <laughs> you can make a new movie out of it, uh, apparently. <laughs> I'm going to say it's not better than the original movie, even though the original movie is still goofy like the original Power Rangers. It's cheesy. It does, you do, you do get that hero to villain, mm-hmm. you know, you do get that um, nostalgia that like, oh, this is just, this is better, even in the big screen and not just on my TV. So, I'm going to say it's not better than it. Uh, what would you say? Um, honestly, I can never take that movie down just because it was all one time all time favorite nostalgia. There's too much nostalgia there, but this yeah. will definitely go up right next to it, sitting right next to it, and I will equally watch both of them. Ooh. Indifferent from the new reboot of the Transformers and Ninja Turtle series, I don't even bother to buy those. I'll buy this if it comes out on DVD. Wow, no, that's I interesting. Like it would just be so burning that, yeah. the original one, like as it's sitting next yeah, to it, it's be no. burning it away slowly. <laughs> They're gonna be, what's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> new kids. Um, all right, so we have someone that likes it. It got really mixed views. So if you go on Rotten Tomatoes right now, mm-hmm. you'll see that the critics gave it about a 40-something. I forget the exact. Oof. I'll pop it up there, but 40-something. Yeah. And originally, uh, when it first came out, the um, people, I would just say, mm-hmm. gave it an 86. It's down to 81 now. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. So I think it's going to be probably in about the 70s once it's done with. Uh, so it got mixed, mixed views. Just like our panel here is mixed view it as is, well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, so since you liked it, was it nostalgic for you? 
They definitely did they dropped some bombs. Like uh, the, the uh, when the Zords came together, they played the song and did the old school cinematic scene of them ro rolling together. I love that. There was just a couple little things that they dropped in there that I really, really appreciated that referenced the original series. I'm like, this is great. I'm laughing. You know, I had a good time with it. And they did uh, they did don the I A I A I, I with. Um, Alpha. Alpha, and they didn't do it often as he typically would do it, but I was glad they did it because I'm like, he better say it. He better say it. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I didn't mind it at all. I, there was a couple of nostalgic points that hit it, hit, hit it with it. So Nostalgia for you? Uh, it was kind of nostalgic, obviously. You know, we, we got all the original names, you know, Billy, Jason, you know, my first crush, the Pink Ranger, you know, Kim. And, uh, uh, but I mean, like, as far as the story, you know, it, it, it kept some of the things and it reinvented a lot uh, of uh, the original stuff that we know of, you know, um, which in, in part it did play pretty good and other parts it was kind of broken, but, um, you know, For it was me, interesting. I think that's what really makes me, like, chop this movie down is because I didn't feel nostalgic. I mean, if I wanted to just watch a random looking Power Ranger I guess, performance? I've been watching the other shows that are still playing now. They haven't been canceled. They all look weird to me. They're Power Rangers, but they look weird. This one kind of looked weird to me. There was a lot of things that they didn't do. They didn't actually morph in, which I would have really wanted. Like, I, I like all those, like, goofy things. Like, it's morphing time. Like, yeah. that, I, I really needed it. Mm -hmm. Whether or not it was goofy, it, they would only do it one time. Yeah. So, it would have been like, oh, yeah. Like, I don't know, there were some things that they just kind of really dropped it for me. It kind of reminded me like I was watching Batman vs. Superman. Ooh. Because I, I liked it all the way up into a particular point. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just hurt my heart. And it's the same thing in this movie. Like, I liked it all the way up to a particular point, and so then it hurt my heart. Thanks, man. <laughs> I hated that entire movie. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Batman was good. There was... There was it was good it was interesting they until that edited point. Edited everything out except for him and Wonder Woman. I would have been fine. This oh, one, <laughs> this this movie did the same thing for me because I'm looking for a certain thing. So you give me the original name. So I'm expecting to see some of the stuff that was great, well, the greatness that made right. Power Rangers such a, a following. You yeah. know, so when it wasn't that, it really kind of like let me down. Mm -hmm. No matter how well the character development was. The Power Rangers just kind of let me down a little bit. So I'm going to say it wasn't nostalgic. Um, now, what you have to think about the new design? So we got new design, new Zords, new costumes, and a new Zordon. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about that? I thought uh, the helmets were all very, really interesting. I really like the helmets more than anything as far as their costume goes. The rest of it, it did kind of look like more uh, Iron Man-ish, you know. Uh, uh, it was definitely really alien-like. Um, they could have really made made it something different. I, I don't know what else they could have done, but I would like to see some maybe earlier prototypes of maybe some mock-up drawings. Because mm -hmm. um, uh, I feel like the, it was it was really weird their costumes. The the Megazords or the Zords uh, were actually pretty cool. Uh, those were pretty cool. I wish they would have kind of showed them uh, a little bit more. Uh, it was kind of hard to see them as they were like fast moving and whatnot. But um, mm -hmm. Overall, I think uh, it, it was a pretty good attempt, uh, uh, you know, a little homage to the classic. All right. Uh, Zoran was cool. I actually like the new way they did him. He's like on that particle wall, and that I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's better than seeing him in a tube, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but I like the new way they revamped that. The, the Zords, it took me a little bit, but eventually I kind of got over it. Uh, originally, when I saw the, the figures. They were only on screen. Oh, you mean like. When you saw like a well, trailer and yeah, stuff? Oh yeah, when I saw the trailer yeah. and then I saw the figures and I saw the <clears throat> Megazord figure and I'm just like, oh, this thing looks like shh. Like, no. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, I was I actually had, did not have high hopes going into this movie, so maybe that's what helped me out a little bit with the expectations. But um, the Zords grew on me and um, at the end when I did see the Megazord, I saw a little bit of the old one in there, but I still miss that blocky, ridiculous looking Megazord. But I did appreciate <laughs> this one. Um, it wasn't ridiculous. It was dope. <laughs> horns coming out. They had a big, strong chest. <laughs> I loved it. it looked like a yoked out Optimus Prime. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they did drop details that the, the Zords were actually not fully formed. They were not completed. And so like it wasn't until like a portion of the movie where it actually brought them together to create the Megazord. So that, that, that's the drop bomb for that. So maybe they might look different in the upcoming movies. I don't know. Hmm. And then the Ranger uniforms, I was actually 100% against them when I first saw the concept art for it. Um, but I noticed as the movie came up, the designs grew a little bit more like the traditional suits. 
the helmets when they did the whole walk-up scene and I saw the helmets first, I literally saw all the original helmet designs in them and yeah. that made me feel a lot better. So that walk up scene was so cliche. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, someone tripped him. <laughs> I so was just like kind of hoping for someone to do it. It would have been funny if they would have broke it up a little bit. What the hell is this? Uh you know, for me, the 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 costume as far as like what was on their body on their torso yeah. I was okay with mm -hmm. it just kind of makes sense like if you're gonna morph into something like clothes aren't just gonna like poof on your body <laughs> so I get it you know they grow out your skin it becomes part of you all right right but I did not like the helmet <clears throat> the helmets uh -huh. they had they didn't have any type of uniqueness there was that was the thing about the original Power Rangers costume is that you knew who it was not only by the color right but the design of the helmet as well mm -hmm. and i just thought they really lost that with that because like if you look at them you don't see any type of reference to any type of dinosaur right. you can say or, which one is the dinosaur or like, like uh, that's a part of them yeah. like it should it should come out you know and i feel like they just really dropped the ball there as well and then they didn't and then when they did have the helmets on, their mask was un unveiled. Oh, that's... So you saw the face a lot of the time, most of the time. I was like, what? Come on. I needed that. I need to be able to see, like, the whole mask. And then they're just, like, over-exaggerating every right. word. Come on, guys. Like, I wanted to see that. And right, I didn't. Yeah. So it kind of messed with me. Zordon, I liked, but I didn't like because he had all this room. And he kept moving around the room, like, what'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? I'm like, just stay in the middle. Let us all just talk to you. Unless there's something over here you really need, stay in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Zors, I, I, man, I tried to like them. I almost liked them. Yeah. But, so I'm the black guy. What? So, right. right. If you didn't know, I'm the black guy. So I like the Black Ranger. So even though the black guy wasn't the Black Ranger, I still like the actual animal, the um, Mastodon. Mastodon. Yeah. But he didn't look nothing like a Mastodon. His actual Zord has six legs. Yeah, that was interesting. I'm like, what is this? I, 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 I think it had like claws or something, right? I don't know. I don't I know. It didn't have claws. No? It just, no, it didn't. Like, because I, I tried to look at that thing as close as I could, but it was right. moving too quick. It was moving kind of quick. quick. I, I think they so. did it on purpose. I think they might have right. been, you know, <laughs> I, I, Come look at this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so fast. <laughs> I think the one I got a good glimpse of was the saber toothed tiger, which I really liked when you got to look at yeah. it. You know, and the, the the pterodactyl was fine with the triceratops. Good. Mm -hmm. um, I, actually, the triceratops and the mastodon were probably the only two that I didn't see close enough. It, th up. Those yeah, were kind of hard so to see. Weird. Yeah, both, both of those. those. So yeah, um, and they were like, very unusual. like hidden in like all this dust and smoke and stuff. I'm like, yeah. What is happening? Yeah. Like, let me see these swords. Yeah, yeah. I need to see them. All this like smoke and mirrors thing is not working for me. I'm right. not a kid. Just like just just hide it so that they don't see how crappy. They actually look. we'll finish them up in the next movie. Yeah. <laughs> right they're not finished guys <laughs> yeah um all right guys so if you had to rate this what are we rating it uh, what are you rating it <laughs> um i kind of want to just say something really tall like just say a 10 just to see what their facial reactions would be don't mess with me <laughs> if you said a don't 10 you would feel emotions. what your face feels like <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... um you know, no, I, I went back and forth for a little bit, um, and considering some of the conversation that went on here and just thinking about the movie, uh, walking out of it, me and Mike did both give it nines. Oh, um, I'm literally only retracting five on that point. Every, everywhere it's getting, it's getting about a 70 and above. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to go for the 8.5 margin just because I, I honestly, in the, the comparison to Transformers, Ninja Turtles, and this, I will bottom fee Transformers and Ninja Turtles, which is very hard for me because I just got a new tattoo on my back of the Turtles. It's true. Yes, it's amazing. Legit. And I really appreciated this Power Rangers movie. So 8.5 out of 10. 8.5, that's that's. I'm glad you strong. went first. Yeah. So I mean, like, for, Should I leave now? For me, there was a lot of inconsistencies. <laughs> there was a lot of inconsistencies in this, and I really wanted them to do the whole morph in time anyway. But, you know, there's a lot of things that I, I questioned while I was watching the movie. I had fun with it. I, I liked the characters a lot. I liked the characters more uh, than I liked anything else. Um, story, yeah. Rating, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be right there with you. Uh, just because it just hurt. It, it really hurt. It, it, I can see if it wasn't a Power Ranger movie and they called it something different, then maybe I would like it. Mm -hmm. But I remember what that meant to my childhood as a kid. Like, I, that's probably like... The only thing I saw on like 
after school that was daily basis consistent kung fu yeah or or martial arts or karate or whatever you want to call it Mm -hmm. like i only got to see like those karate movies like randomly like we didn't really watch them that much but when they came on they were so dope so when this came i got to watch it every single day it's great and i just really liked it it just it really pumped me up you know they had a black guy and don't really get to see a lot of black people on tv doing like awesome stuff especially back then so it really like was dear to my heart so then when they came out with this it really let me down so i'm gonna have to give it a five as well um, I don't see how I can make up for it. I don't, I don't see what people were seeing. And I, I even watched some other reviews because, and I usually don't do that. Yeah. We just do our own thing. Right. I don't care about what everyone else is saying on YouTube. Mm-hmm. But I felt like I was missing something because people were clapping. Yeah. And I just like, what? There's got to be a director's what? cut somewhere, right? I, I think you were director's saying. cut, I feel like it's going to fill in some gaps. But I will honestly say this. You know so. what? Technically, this movie got a really good rating from us. You know why? Because when we morph and we become that team... Yeah. We get 18.5. Bam! We broke records! <laughs> Out of 30! <laughs> Out of 30! <laughs> no! It's not good. So, no, you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta stick with the five, guys. So, that, that's, that's my rating there. Still watching this. <laughs> At this point in time, now, I'm about to... <laughs> I'm about to rip it. Uh-huh. Um, I'm gonna just go, and you guys can just rebut all the things that I didn't, I didn't like. Um, just to your point, Yes, Billy was autistic, but I, I, I feel like the writers forgot that they wrote that in the beginning of the movie because he became, he said he couldn't, he's he not able to say to tell jokes and stuff like that. He started telling jokes. I'm like, what? What is happening? I thought you couldn't do a certain thing. You know, it's like he like overcame that because they were together. Not that autistic people can't like get better. And not that the, the power of the Power Ranger helped him. Okay, if you want to say that, but... The continuity of that part right. wasn't there, and I actually did like that part a little bit. I was I was hoping it wasn't going to be too annoying. I think maybe they saw he was going to be a bit annoying and kind of down that back a little bit or yeah. dialed it back. Right. Um, but it was a lot of inconsistencies. I felt like the writers were just writing just to write, not to necessarily make sense, not to necessarily um, actually portray the subject that they're writing about, which would be teenagers. Mm-hmm. Um, it just, man, it was so much that I, I just didn't like about this movie. I definitely didn't like, I told you the guys the helmets. Um, right. I didn't like Zordon. Zordon was a, a dick. He didn't want to help anybody. <laughs> he was a jerk. He was a jerk. I'm <laughs> like, bro, what are you mad for? Like, why are you hating? He's like, I died and I'm trying to come back now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing. I don't understand how he was going to come back. But I don't understand. Like, I don't want to give anything away, but... Oh, maybe. It, did, it didn't make a lot of sense how he didn't come back with how they introduced him. So, I, I don't know. I was like, ah, I feel like you guys got so many holes in this movie. And then again, I felt like they could have just amped or maybe um, refurbished what the original series was about. Right, yeah. And they could have given me what I remember as a kid, what I what what I and a whole lot of people hold dear to their hearts. And I think that's the, the big issue with me is that like well, I watch a lot of interviews um of Power Rangers, the original cast, things like that, and what the people say that they've done for them in their lives as a kid is amazing. Yeah. Like and then for them for the directors or the producers or whoever, the writers to not like give us that feel, I mm-hmm. felt it was a very let down to the franchise and to the actual uh, fans, so that was my real issue. Like I said, it was interesting mm-hmm. up until the point when we get to now. They know they're the Rangers. Right. How are we going to uh, uh, morph in? Zordon was a dick. It was just like, what is this? Zordon supposed to be your helper? Zordon got right. your back, right? Your mentor. Like, what is happening? Yeah, he, yeah. he hoping you lose and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like what is this? Basically. So I don't know. I, I feel like it didn't really have the same life lessons that the original show did, which it's it's okay if you would have gave me Power Rangers that I remember because it wasn't really known for the story anyway. Mm-hmm. But you did learn lessons. You know they were trying to be something different. They weren't like the the misfits in the the show. Right. And in this movie, they are the misfits. So it's like. I don't know. I don't know if that if we really learned the same thing that we would have learned yeah. in the original show. So it just didn't. It it hurt my heart. So I'm gonna just end it there because I've been talking a lot. <laughs> but it hurt my heart, guys. Sorry. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I and just to rebuttal that, I mean, the, it kind of fell flat. I think it was probably the writing because the actual actors themselves, they did a really great job really in portraying job. these different flawed characters, you know, with Billy being autistic and, you know, um, the high school uh, jock, you know, footballer, and he's like a varsity blues kind of, I don't want your life, dad, kind of thing, and trying to break out of that. Exactly. <laughs> and, and so we, and, and every single character, you know, is going through something, whether it be a sick family member or coming out of the closet or whatever. So I feel like in this new modern day, I hope that, you know, it, it does relate to, you know, some of these kids being bullied or whatever, going through something through high school or whatever part of their life is like really hard. So I, I really hope that it does translate to that. But I don't feel that they wrote it like to really highlight that for them to overcome, you know, because it, it, it did get watered down after a while. I did appreciate that, you know, they had like a little campfire scene and they were all like, I'll, I'll be there for you, kind of like a friends kind of right. thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so I appreciated that. That was kind of heartwarming and stuff. But, you know, th there were so many things that did fall flat, you know, with Zordon kind of being a jerk and then with Rita Repulsa, she was kind of out there. Um, and, and a lot of things that they didn't really explain uh, in the movie, um, just with like certain events happening and then like, okay, well, how did this person survive like this catastrophe? And uh, with the Megazords, how did these kids actually learned uh, kung fu every single kid in the original oh, series thing. there's no kung fu <laughs> they learned kung fu <laughs> what in the hell so power rangers it, is this it's like you know we, we did get a little life lesson from alpha and alpha was kind of teaching them you know self-defense and that kind of stuff like but, street fighter but i was expecting power like I'm, I'm wearing a mr miyagi shirt for a reason because he, <laughs> he taught wax on wax off to daniel and i was hoping zordon was going to give these rangers like a kung fu lesson but that never actually happened so i don't know where they develop these like martial arts combat skills yeah um i don't know where they actually learn to power the zords other than them having like a avatar t ponytail link to the actual zord itself yeah <laughs> um so, so i much. mean it, and and then they were kind of piloting it with a nintendo switch so <laughs> I, I i don't know how that all came to be um i i appreciated the attempt but there was a lot of things that had me thinking, like, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait, what's See, going it on would have You'd have been okay with that, because we don't know, in the original series, you don't know how they got to learn how to still do this stuff. They jumped in yeah. and went. If it would have been, if it had reminded you more of Power Rangers, you'd have been okay with that. It doesn't, doesn't even matter, as long as they're kicking ass. Right, like, like just go ahead and jump into, like, this building high Megazord. <laughs> right. <just> like, <laughs> and then right. jump in and start piloting it with hand motions. <laughs> right, and you'd have been so okay with that. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that you, you lose the whole essence of what Power Rangers is, you start noticing yeah. all that little bitty shit. Absolutely, you know, and they could have broken it down, like, something like in a, a quick, you know, five-minute thing, just like how Pacific Rim did, you know, how they have the drift, and then they learn how to pilot these things mm -hmm. because they all shared the same mentality. Well, they all hook up with their spinal cord into these Zords, and they all share these memories, so they all have, like, a, more of a bond and a friendship, you know, amongst themselves. That would have been kind of cool. You know, but all these ideas, they kind of fell flat between the story. But as far as the acting goes with these new casts, I appreciated it. I'd like to see how they develop as a series. So it got to be something you yeah. didn't like. <laughs> got to be one thing. Uh, well, no, like I, I kind of said it already. I wasn't feeling uh, Rita too much. Um, I did, uh, the character was all right, but um, she was a little kooky. She was a little out there. Like, That's another thing that wasn't, wasn't consistent. At first she was like dope and like, all in your face, kicking your ass, and then she was just kind of weird after, after that. I'm like, what? Yeah, there's a lot. It's not nothing before. bad about the actress, yeah. you know. It's just how no, it was written. Actually, yeah, she actually did a, a fun job doing Rita. Like, she was not there to do good things. Like, I got that feel. Um, I I thought I wasn't gonna like Goldar at all, um, and I he, he kind of grew on me, but I still wanted that old like wolf face dude like i yeah. wanted the yes. gold bar you know i was looking forward to that so i was hoping that maybe because the thing is a lot of the movie felt unfinished mm -hmm. um certain portions of it but the thing is that's how you know the cast was amazing because i did, i honestly cared less about that because i had so much fun with the characters and the cast i it, they did such a good job and it was so much fun to watch them develop on screen from beginning to end that I walked out of that movie completely fulfilled, and the the action I was completely happy with, CG I was completely happy with. They they catered to the the, the fan base. So I, just I read was, it. Was great. Read is the only thing. Read is probably the only thing that I really had a huge finick with. Honestly, <laughs> I wow. really, 
you know, Rita and Goldar, that's about it. Outside of that, I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and narc it too much because I had so much fun watching it. Like, oh, I was laughing. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh! Like, I, there was moments. And, and mind you, I, was, I sat in the theater with a really good friend of mine who, who is more hardcore hard. Power Ranger than Die anybody hard. I know. Like, this is, he's as bad as I am with Ninja Turtles. And I walked in Ninja Turtles crying. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have walked out, but I couldn't just because of reasons. But he loved every bit of it. Shout, really shout out really, to you, Mike. Yeah, this Michael Aaron, it, Mike. Yeah, bro. This this Disappoint me, Mike. <laughs> yeah, he's got a tattoo of a morph on his back, okay? Oh, there was man. no morphers in the movie! <laughs> you are disappointing me, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's morph. Just oh, kidding. Shit. Just kidding. Yeah, but uh, that's about it. Like, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to more. They said that they're up for about six more movies, seven total, and I'm wow. looking forward to it. I, I really am. See it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really looking forward to the development of these these cast. Like, I'm more stoked about the cast bringing all this to life even more. Like, they made about forty million dollars this weekend. Um, I don't really see it make that much. I mean, it, it might it might have another one, mm -hmm. but I don't know. With the rating, seven of them, I don't know. If Transformers can get up to where it's at now, I think I'm pretty sure they'll be Transformers the makes like 500 million. Oh, God, no. Like, that's... Well, I mean, I, 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 they're rebuilding like this whole entire storyline, and there was a lot of things that like my mind went off like, okay, if these are the new rules for the storyline of Power Rangers, then we could have different Rangers in different planets with different life forms at this point. Mm -hmm. So they did make a big foundation to build They're on. They're jumping too oh, yeah. quick. They're jumping too quick. They could have really made, they could have made more money if they would have stick to the original series. But this, this, what this reminded me of was Fantastic Four, the new one. Because it. it is, <laughs> it's about kids yeah. who happen to have powers. Yeah. So that's what Fantastic. I, I saw Fantastic before because uh, it was a black guy as uh, the Johnny uh, Storm, the Flame, and uh, I had to see it. Yeah. So I saw it, and it was just about the kids, their backstory, their development, and they just right. so happen to have powers, just like this movie. So if you didn't like that, then you're not gonna like this movie. And then it also reminded me of Batman vs Superman. It was great up until this point, where we, now it's time to go. Uh, wait, what's <laughs> go going time. On here? <laughs> and it just fell off. I thought home dude was so, dead. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's where it is for me as a as a hardcore yeah. Power Ranger fan. Like it's they're so dear to my heart. Could have been can't. great. Could have been great. And and we tend to see that in a lot of these nostalgic reboots of these movies where I'm, I just catch myself saying, uh, oh, could have been great. Could have been great. But this one they could have like they really. It was okay for them to reboot this. It was because okay. we haven't really had like no high end, I guess, real theatrical yeah. movie. We got a kind of a corny one, but not like something that's like big budget. Yeah, yeah. So it would have been good. I'm, right. I was so okay with it. I'm like, okay, reboot Power Rangers. All right, <laughs> yeah. all right. But oh man, yeah, it was dope up until a certain point, and then it just kind of, kind of started falling. And you know. yeah, so you guys be the judge. You know, that's why we have three of us because we all have different opinions. Yeah. Someone can gravitate to one of us and agree and disagree or whatever. Um, but question of the day, guys. Would you want to see more of these movies? Did this movie actually bring you back to your childhood days? And this is, I'm talking about the person who actually saw the very first episode of Power Rangers. Not Space Rangers. Not any of that uh, Turbo other. Turbocharged, Dinos. Right. That can't be your first one. Yeah. Because then I can maybe understand how you would really like it. But I'm talking about you watched it with Jason and Tommy and, and and Trini and all them. Yeah. You watched the very first ones. Let me know if, you, if this did it for you guys. Or did it just hurt your heart like me <laughs> and they shouldn't make six more. Let us know, guys. <laughs> um, all right. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We want to know what you guys think. Yeah. Anything that we talked about, go ahead and go ahead and, and comment. And stay after the credits, too. After yeah, the nice, credits. Nice yeah, little, uh, uh, you know... It Rich, might bring up more questions for you, but you might like it as well. It's funny. They had people clapping. I just didn't get why they were clapping. The so whole, the whole don't listen to me. Ours, so it, we were all gravy, man. Don't listen to me. Uh, yeah. um, but I think the real ones, we hear with it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. I'm done. See you, Jack. And we're out, baby. It's more for you. Peace. <laughs> But I got it. One little five. My mom got scared. <laughs> said, you're moving with your auntie and I'm going by there.